As artificial intelligence technology continues to advance, Kentucky lawmakers want to get ahead of the so-called deep fakes of people's voices or images being passed off as the real thing. Bodie Brooks shares more on the proposal moving through Frankfurt. Very simply, this bill is aimed at AI. Artificial intelligence tech has reached the point where it's not too hard to recreate a video or music of someone who is a real person, but what you were seeing or hearing isn't actually real. This music may sound a little off because even though it's in the style of country music band Montgomery Gentry, it's not really them. When others use artificial intelligence, and other digital technologies to take our voices and likeness from us without our consent and use them in ways we don't approve. It is a personal and fundamental violation that strikes at the heart of who we are and what we do. Eddie Montgomery, a Danville native, took the hot seat in front of lawmakers pushing for Senate Bill 317. The proposal establishes everyone's property rights over their name, voice, and likeness to prevent digital recreations being used commercially without their consent. Deep fakes don't care if you're famous, an actor, a recording artist, or even alive or dead. As lawmakers considered the bill Thursday, sponsor Senator Whitney Westerfield specified the bill only applies to digital recreations and would not, for example, affect an Elvis impersonator performing a show. Westerfield says he does not expect the bill to step on First Amendment rights if someone just wanted to play around with an AI recreation of a star's voice for their own entertainment. If you want to create it on your own for your own enjoyment and entertainment in your household, I don't believe this bill addresses that. So I don't think until you try to monetize it or you distribute it to the public, do you create a problem? The bill passed committee unanimously and could be taken up by the full Senate as soon as next week. Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.